Hey guys, it's Core Ross and Welcome to Six News. So on Monday we got this mysterious teaser for the next season of Rainbow Six Siege and at its centre and what appears to be the focus of it is a very unusual looking skull shape and for the most part I was quite stumped with what the heck this was until I actually found it. So if we jump back to the very sad elimination of Harry in the cinematic at the beginning of this year you'll notice on the board behind him is this object which appears to be our mysterious skull. It even has the two matching imperfections in the eye sockets. Now the other question is, is this actually a skull? And what the heck is it? Because it could be a gadget, it could be a helmet. There's not really enough detail here to break down. And unfortunately, this is one of the only Harry boards that was never released. And the cinematic is only on YouTube with unfortunately YouTube compression. So we don't have the original source quality one to look at as well as they no longer upload them to the press site. And my immediate thought when I actually found this was that it just reminded me a lot of a meal from Halo who has a skull scratched into his helmet. And I, I definitely get connections, although I do not think we're getting a Halo crossover here. And with myself going back and re-watching the cinematic now with the teaser for the next season, I noticed that the cheeky buggers actually put this thing center frame with Harry. And even though it's very blurry, I think we can answer a few things here. So in the teaser, I was kind of surprised that this thing at the center of the eye was an oval instead of a circle because it could have just matched the pupil perfectly in a nice circle and it looked off to be an oval. But looking at on the board behind Harry here, it's clearly an oval shape. So that is the actual shape of whatever it is. I think we can also say that it could well be a gadget or a helmet and might well be connected to the new operator. But there is a problem there. So this is obviously Harry's board. This seems to be the first interaction that Damus and Harry have had for a long time. Damus was part of Rainbow Six at some point in the past, but doesn't sound like they've been talking for a while. And the Harry board obviously has been made up before Damus turned up. So presumably whatever this is shouldn't have a connection to the new operator because the new operator worked with Damus and just recently got freed from that by Rainbow Six. So that Swedish operator, although has a big connection to Damus, he shouldn't have had any connection to Harry before in order to create this board with a potential gadget. If the lore of this board is actually all kind of sorted out correctly, which maybe it's not. And even though when this cinematic was released, we never got a clear shot of the board or of in focus one or a high quality version of it, we did get to see some teasers of upcoming stuff like the Finca Elite. So this is definitely shown us something from season two. And I don't know what it is, but at least I found it. I've got no clue. It doesn't really answer any questions. However, the shape of it does seem to have some structure to it. So it's got kind of this block at the top, which matches two blocks on the sides at the corners, kind of in a triangular shape. And then a circular interior part with the skull shape on an oval, which could be something like an upturned visor, which makes it look more oval than maybe the proper shape of a skull. But... It's hard to know. It almost looks as well like a maestro turret with a skull painted on it too. But I don't think we're getting a rework of maestro here. And I don't think they'd be teasing like a maestro elite with uh, the first teaser of a new season. This is probably connected to the new operator in some significant way. But like I say, kind of weird that it's on Harry's board when the new operator at this point was actually working for Damus. So there could well be another spin to this that I'm not thinking about. However, now that I've tracked this skull down to its origins, I do think I can answer one thing I was kind of confused about with this teaser. And that is, is the eye we're looking at the new operator or is the reflection the new operator in some way, even if it's just our gadget or whatever. So my feeling now is that the eye is not the operator. This is some scared individual. And they're of course being threatened by possibly the new operator and their new gadget. I've always had the theory as well that DMS will be this new operator, but in hiding, because he was previously in Rainbow Six, I don't think that Rainbow Six knows he was previously in Rainbow Six. Only Harry seemed to actually know that information. So I'm kind of thinking they might decide to bring back someone from the past of Rainbow Six to help track down DMS and not realize they've actually hired DMS. But we also know this is a Swedish operator that has already been rescued by Rainbow Six in the last comic. And that could still be DMS trying to trick them, but seems less likely now. The other thing I want to bring up is something else I found out after this teaser is what a dread factor actually means. 
as this can be one of the terms for a dread factor, which is an event which is uncontrollable, has catastrophic potential, has fatal consequences, and can also have involuntary exposure. And if all those elements come together, it can be what is called a dread factor. This can be something like a virus outbreak. It could also be terrorist attacks and things like that, which is very much in the wheelhouse of Rainbow Six and is much more in the narrative now for these stories. So could also be linked into that and definitely could be linked into a event that DMS is going to cause this season. But as the skull we see, a good thing or a bad thing, because it's on Harry's board, which means probably Rainbow Six was working on it, which means it could be a good thing that helps against the dread factor. Or is it going to end up actually being something bad? So unfortunately, although we've tracked down the original source of this skull, I have no clue what it actually means, which is unfortunate. We've managed to track it down, but there's just not enough details and not enough quality. I wish they would release these cinematics in full quality on their press site, because then I could have easily taken a better look at all this stuff. But unfortunately, we're dealing with YouTube compression. However, it's very cool to actually track it down and have a source whether it means anything at all in the bigger sense of this teaser, we'll find out when we get more teasers in the upcoming days and week leading up to the new reveal on the 14th of May. But let me know in the comments below if this sparks up any other theories you've got now. And I'm I'm trying my best not to do this because I think the artwork looks very outbreaky. The dread factor could be connected to a virus outbreak. I'm trying not to make those connections. I do not think outbreak is coming back. I think that's very unlikely, but man, I cannot help but put connections together and I hate the fact I'm doing that because I'm going to end up being disappointed either way. Even if I do say to myself, it's not going to happen, I keep making connections with all this artwork. So we'll see how the teasers go. Hopefully we'll get more answers soon and figure out exactly what's going on with this new season. And I do love it when we can speculate because there just hasn't been much leaks yet. I'm sure there'll be loads of leaks, but at the moment in time, there's very little, which is lovely because I absolutely love to do this kind of speculation.